Hi, welcome to Dev Central. My name is Jason, and last time out we talked about what a proxy was. Today we're actually going to talk about an SSL specific proxy, and that's Proxy SSL. And basically, Proxy SSL is a man in the middle attack on your own client and server traffic. Now, assuming you own the key, that's a terrible key, but I'm not an artist and of course you have your certificate, then what we do is you copy that key and cert over to the big IP so that that key and cert live here as well. And then you build out a client SSL profile and a server SSL profile And then on that profile, on these profiles, you put the um, the server private key, so the server key, the server cert, and then you check the proxy SSL box. And every other setting, just leave alone. But you create a specific profile for the the proxy SSL uh, on client SSL, server SSL with these settings. And basically that what, what that allows you to do then is you, when the client connects to the server, the client will handshake directly with the server. And the big IP will not get in the way of that communication. And so this is the handshake. And then because the big IP has the server key, it can derive the keys for client and server to uh, do the decryption and then the re-encryption. So you have, after the fact, this relationship of bulk decrypt and re-encrypt. And that's essentially what the proxy SSL solution does. Now what that allows you to do is for um, server solutions that require client authentication. Uh, you can let your servers do that. You don't have to bring that to the big IP if you have uh, authentication that you, you have backend processes to do, then the server itself can do all that client authentication. Uh, one of the other benefits of proxy SSL is that if, um, oh, that uh, you know, you're, not, you're not doing all the, the heavy lifting for the handshake. Uh, you're just doing the, the bulk encrypt decrypt on, on your platform. Now we make custom hardware to be able to do that on the big IP, but for whatever reason you want to do that, um, uh, that handshaking on your backend system, the proxy SSL solution will work for that. Uh, a couple uh, requirements for the proxy SSL is you, you have to have that, that server private key, and also you have to use non-ephemeral um, ciphers. And so you're, you know, you're looking at RSA ciphers for that. Another proxy that we're going to talk about uh, for SSL is the SSL Ford proxy. And this is, uh, again, on the client side. We talked about Ford proxies being more client side. Uh, so it's client, and then your Ford proxies are kind of at your network edge of like an enterprise. And then it goes out and, and taps out or reaches out to the, to the servers out there in the world. And so what the SSL Ford proxy does is you have, say, Google.com, uh, if you look at their trust relationship is GeoTrust. Certificate authority. Well, your, your browser clients, almost all clients, are going to are going to have a trust relationship with GeoTrust. And so, if I try and do anything to that secure traffic here, um, then my browsers are, are going to say, "Whoa, wait a second, uh, because I don't have the I don't have the I don't have the keys uh, or um, the trust relationship for that certificate here." Uh, but if I am at the network edge and say this is the edge of my, uh, my authority for these clients, then I can have a local CA here that this client trusts. Because we have trust in GeoTrust built in. Okay, and then the trust is uh, configured in by your enterprise uh, to this local CA. So how SSL Ford proxy works is you have a client hello, 
comes in, and that's step one. And then your big IP will then pass on that client hello. And then you get the server hello and cert. And then the server handshake happens. Server handshake. Okay, so this is step two. Uh, the server hello and cert coming back, and then the server handshake is done. At this point, I forge. You think about Lord of the Rings and forging the one ring. So here we're forging a certificate for Google.com, and we are doing that with the trust relationship with this local CA. So this is step five, we forge that cert. And then we pass on the server hello and cert, and that's step six. And then of course you have the server handshake, um, or I'm sorry, the client handshake finishing out. And so now we've built a trust relationship that we've just moved the trust relationship from here closer to our clients. And again, Ford proxies are there so that you can put a service layer in here on your big IP so that you can do things like inspecting secure traffic. Now, uh, the great thing about our SSL Ford proxies is, is there are uh, by policy, you can have bypass so that uh, you know, if you don't wanna uh, look at bank stuff, if you don't wanna look at health stuff, uh, any other thing that you might get into some legal issues, if you start to inspect those things, then you can bypass those uh, by policy. Um, and, uh, and this is completely transparent to the end user. As long as you've built this trust relationship between your client and your big IP, it's, uh, it's completely transparent. So hopefully uh, looking at how these SSL proxy solutions work has been helpful. We'll see you out there again next week.